YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy D Dyson. So we definitely wanted to get into the Transformers Rise of the Beast trailer breakdown from New Rock Stars. This was something that wasn't even foreseen for me as far as movies in 2023. I think people probably could have had a grasp on what was going to come upcoming this upcoming year, but this was definitely not on my radar. So that's why I'm really intrigued. And then you really have Beast Wars coming out with, and I was, it, it took me a minute to really get, I, like, I remember I used to watch this all the time because it, if you were a kid like me, I used to watch Starship Troopers, Roughnecks, and then I used to watch Beast Wars. That was like the two, like reboot, like those, those type of cartoons that were like 3D, almost 2D, like I used to love. That's why this is special and it looks good. So let's check this out. Welcome back to New Rock Stars. I'm Jessica Clemens, and Paramount Pictures released Transformers Rise of the Beast teaser trailer around the same time as Indiana Jones and the Guardians of the Galaxy and all those Comic Con Brazil teasers. And holy smokes, this movie looks wild. This will be the seventh installment to the Transformers franchise and first in the planned trilogy. Though this movie features characters from the 96 TV show Beast Wars, it follows up from the latest Bumblebee movie that was dropped in 2018 and that took place in the 80s. This movie will take place approximately in 1994. So you know I had to jump on this bad boy jump on the opportunity to break it down with my best friend in the entire universe tommy Bechtel. yes jessica my girl move over Lilla hammer olympics 1994 has got a new signature event and it's the beast wars jessica much like these robots i can't keep my excitement in disguise any longer this trailer has me hyped to get back into a world i'd kind of put on the geek back burner i feel like a lot of people might have done that because the characters have ranged from so many different types and different points of view you guys i love the transfer movies but i didn't spend a lot of time watching the animated shows so this was super fun to go through and to go through all of the live action movies that I watch. And we will be breaking this trailer down scene by scene to make sure we hit everything that you might have missed. Let's just get into it. Let's go. Roll out. to fear, Prime. There is a darkness coming. We open in what I expect is Peru, seeing as the movie takes place in Brooklyn, New York, and Peru. We're introduced to the enormous metal gorilla, aka leader of the Maximals, Optimus Primal, voiced by Ron Perlman, yes. who's also voiced Optimus Primal in the Transformers Power of the Primes. This is the second time doing it. As Optimus Prime kind of like led the Autobots, Optimus Primal leads the Maximals during Beast Wars. The Maximals were descendants of the Autobots in 2300, mm -hmm. so their relationship goes beyond having similar ranks. Basically, you see Optimus Prime as Optimus Prime. He just transforms into a gorilla. Wow. Uh, we also see Optimus Prime, who needs no introduction. Uh, I mentioned his name a million times. This is the face of the Transformers for years. Our numero uno, voiced by Peter Cullen. I love it. How lucky are we to still have that guy doing the voice? I, exactly! Ooh. Hell yeah! You're doing it good, buddy! Great job! The two folks at the bottom between the two are Elena, Dominic, Fishback, and Noah, who's Anthony Ramos. Oh yes, yes, little Hamilton. Yes. Or uh, in the Heights. Or yeah. the Hood. Good. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> From Ironheart. You said who? I was like, Don't, how dare you say that to me? I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Primal warns Optimus Prime there is a darkness coming. Now, if Primal is from the future. This teases a chance he's coming from the future to warn Prime of what's about to go down, which we're about to get into more in the trailer. It opens with a slightly remixed of Juicy by Biggie Smalls. It was all a dream for me, okay? But it's got like a mechanical beat. It was all a dream. It's, ex it's exactly what you would imagine like for a, a movie like yeah. this would be. People are gonna clip that out and show what a nerd I am. It's exactly what and we're back in Brooklyn. Stand up, baby, or rather roll out because my boy Optimus Prime is rolling out in his classic big rig fit across the Brooklyn Bridge. Heard of it? Pretty famous. 
structure. Bumblebee is also back in his classic Camaro glory. This movie is, like we said, a sequel to 2018's Bumblebee, which are prequels to the Michael Bay Transformer movies. I know, it's all confusing. Now, we saw our yellow friend glow up from a punch buggy to a muscle car. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? You gotta put on a little mask, make some big gains in the automobile category. We see that our aforementioned human protagonist, Noah, get behind the wheel of a Porsche, which we will soon discover is the Autobot Mirage, voiced by the irresistible Pete Davidson. <laughs> I'm so excited to see yeah. what this voice is gonna look like for this character. I gotta yeah. say too, like Pete Davidson interacting with Anthony Ramos as a car that is in control, of antagonizing Anthony Ramos a bit, will definitely be very funny. Now Mirage, in Transformers in the Generation 1 cartoon, he had the ability to turn invisible, but in this film he gets a massive power up by gaining the ability to create these holographic duplicates of himself, which we see in the trailer. Yeah, so let's listen to a little bit more of it. We see Mirage split into four additional look-alike cars creating the ultimate illusion, like Tommy said earlier. One of Mirage's abilities consists of creating these illusions, which we've seen in the comics and we've seen in TV series. So this isn't actually too far off from his normal abilities throughout every franchise product he's been in. We're introduced to an off-roading bumblebee speeding alongside the sickest Maximal, mm -hmm. in my opinion. You guys, this is Cheetor. Huge. I love Cheetor. What was that noise? It, it's like when you... So... <laughs> <laughs> Cheetor, clearly based off a of cheetah, is seen as the young one of the Maximals ready to play and fight as soon as possible, which also makes sense why in this scene we see him teamed up with Bumblebee. Mm. We jump to this huge Falcon-like Maximal who's Air Razor, voiced by Michelle Yeoh. Air Razor, like a Falcon, is basically the eyes of the operation. She was super funny, ready to fight, and at times overly confident in the animated series, yeah. and she's gonna be seen here belting flames, so yes. she's going to be a badass. Oh, right, gave me some Game of Thrones vibes with that flame streak. <laughs> also, uh, Air Razor is one of the... Uh, of the few Maximals that is very closely bonded with her animal form because in the cartoon, when she comes down to Earth, she's injured and she takes the form of a falcon as a way of healing from her damage that she took as, a, as an Autobot, as 100%. an ancient, as a Maximal. Very exciting for me. Is for she her. your favorite? Well, I mean, anything Michelle Yeoh does moves up my priority. I'm like, yo! Oh my God, <laughs> okay, sorry, going that. off that horrible. 10,000 parties. <laughs> <laughs> um, this truck that we see shooting a missile is actually Battle Trap. They confirmed in an interview he'll be playing the tow truck and we'll get into that a little bit more in the trailer when we see a more clear image of him fully transformed. Mm. We later see RC. She's holding onto the Volkswagen van which is actually Wheeljack. Back, Wheeljack we saw in the Michael Bay yes. movies as was just this insane like old kooky Autobot. So now we got Wheeljack. I think we also got an image of Wheeljack in Bumblebee and like the opening yes, yes. sequence where he's very dignified. So we've got the dignified, we've got the Doc Brown. Now we're getting kind of like a Volkswagen bug. I love it. Wheeljack changes so much, and this is probably something I think we're all hoping to see because uh, not a lot of people were actually excited about a lot of the looks that Wheeljack has had. Being a Transformer sounds awesome, right? Well, if you want to transform from somebody who doesn't know anything about wine into somebody who can impress your friends by showing up to a holiday party with the perfect gift of Burgundy, then you gotta check out Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is the easiest way for people who are curious about wine to learn what kind of wines they love so they can share their love of wine with the people they love. And trust me, if you're like me, you know nothing about wine, you educate yourself, you lie your little pants off at a party and people are like, we're a dignified man. Bright Cellars you go, has you take a quick seven question quiz that will match you with wines from all over the world Pick specifically to match your tastes. After that, Bright Cellars will send the wine directly to you so you don't have to waste time at the liquor store buying wines based off the label. Each package of wine comes with a wine education card for every bottle that outline tasting notes, suggested pairings, and best serving temperatures. Let me tell you, a white wine with a Chilean sea bass? Mm, mm, no mm. way. Bright Cellars, they sent me a Tintorella de Luna from Italy. The info card suggested a beautiful piece of white fish and that was spot on. Me personally, I can do it with a Snickers bar, but I'm not classy. Easily a new go-to wine for me. If you rate your wines after you try them, your future picks will improve so you can dial in exactly what type of wine you like. If you've got follow-up questions, Bright Cellars concierge team will help you with any questions you might have, like how do you open wine? Can I just have a screw top? No, you can't. Learn how to use a corkscrew. You're an adult. Bright Cellars is giving our followers a limited time offer, $50 off the first six bottle box. Click the link in the description to get started. You'll be so glad you did. You'll be so glad you did. Now Transform yourself out of being a simp. <laughs> Learn about wine. 
Oh, take it away, Jessica and Tommy from the future. Going back to RC. Normally, RC can be seen as pink, but in the animated series, her suit is sort of red, so we're assuming that she's based it off of that look. RC is a fighter. Great with guns, hand-to-hand -hand combat, you name it. As the female Transformer, they basically made her for young girls who love Transformers, so back in the day, you could kind of see her as a mom figure, caring and supportive, and everyone just loved her. Mm -hmm. She's based on Princess Leia, with the buns included, and RC was last seen in Bumblebee in that quick stunt at the That's very beginning right. with Bill Jack, yes. and she's gonna be voiced by Liza Koshy. So you're telling Star. me there's a pathway for YouTubers yeah. to become voices of Transformers. Liza, bless you. See Jessica and I as Skidmark and whatever that <laughs> other one was. We're gonna be in the, in the reboot. We're gonna be like, yeah, here we go, we're Transformers! Ah! and then we get ripped apart by Megatron. I'm into that. And like Tavi said earlier with Wheeljack, he was in the Bumblebee movie at the very beginning. He was um, in Dark of the Moon as the very old, old yes. man robot. He had tiny glasses. He was like Albert, he was like Albert Einstein. Yes. He was very rickety and he didn't have the best ending, but he's coming back in this. He's gonna be the VW van. That's right, and he dies in that movie. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Hey, come on, that movie came out eight it, years okay, ago. Okay, it did, it did, it did, it did. He's gonna be playing the VW van and he will be voiced by Cristo Fernandez. Oh, Wheeljack and RC's relationship also is one of like true friendship. Truly, they really do need each other because they differ so much in personality, but they're basically the same, like the same same head of the coin? Same, how do you say the phrase? Two sides of the same coin? Two sides of the same coin. Mm -hmm. uh, they're both the lone wolves. They're both headstrong and supportive of each other when needed. So this chemistry that we're seeing of them on the bridge yeah. might actually be something to look forward to. That's basically us by the way. Incredible! Let's look at some more of this trailer. Of all the threats from both your past and future, you've never faced anything like this. Let them come. Things are taking a little turn for the ominous here as Optimus Primal warns in a voiceover. Of all the threats from both your past and future, you've never faced anything like this. All right, and as we hear that, we see the main villain from the movie, I believe, Scourge, voiced by Peter Dinklage, impaling Bumblebee with a sword. Scourge is a huge villain in the Transformers universe, but we have yet to see him on the big screen. In one of the animated series, Scourge is actually a clone of Optimus Prime, oh. but in this movie, he does take the form of a semi-truck, although he looks a lot more like a semi-truck from the Mad Max world than one from our world. His robot form doesn't really look like Prime at all, so I don't yes. think that's gonna be what this story is. Now, in another iteration of the comics and cartoons, Scourge was created by Unicron, oh. one of the big bads in the Transformers universe, a world-eating robot planet that we first met in Transformers the Motion Picture. Unicron was teased after the last Michael Bay vs. Transformers movie, Transformers The Last Night, and that quote seems to visually imply that it's about Scourge, but I think it's actually leading to an all-out confrontation between Autobots and Unicron oh. in the next movie. Oh, because yes. it is a trilogy. This is the start of it. Yes, I think it's much like Thanos. We're gonna slow burn on Unicron here. Next, we see a celebration. I'm not 100% what this is, but I did a little research. So you know I love holidays and parades. My best guess is it's the Cusco Cusco Corpus Christi celebration in Peru, honoring the Holy Eucharist. It's one of the biggest celebrations in Peruvian culture, and it includes a huge parade with marching bands and color guard, as we can see in this image. So that's my best guess. We also get a look at Rhinox roaring in his rhinoceros form. And in the cartoons, Rhinox was a bit of a science nerd, but he looks like a pure brute force enforcer in this clip. You know I what I'm saying? That. He's going, Hello. Rhinox is thick. He's a thick boy. We then see three asteroids landing in the water around New York City, which is bad for the asteroids and the water because neither one are clean. The three asteroids landing in the water are most likely the film's three villains, Scourge, Battletrap, and Nightbird. Fingers crossed Nightbird has nunchucks like in the cartoon where she's kind of a ninja weird. Oh my god, I'm so into this. Okay, let's watch a little bit more. And if you don't know... Okay, so this is just insane. Optimus Prime says, let the, can you say it? Let them come. He's so good at it. And we've taken to this battlefield, you guys. This is our yellow blasting Terracon Battle Trap, who we know from the same interview will be playing the tow truck. So Battle Trap and Flywheels could combine to be a two vehicle robot. Yes. We don't know if we're gonna see Flywheels though. We don't know yet. Now, Battle Trap allegedly said, this says on his actual card, we'll show it right here, like to trap his foe between his Jeep and helicopter vehicles and have fun with them. Oh God. Knock him back and forth a bit before finally destroying them. He's a true villain, you guys. Ooh. We don't know if we'll see Flywheels yet, but it would be cool to see the Duocon. He's voiced by David Soboloff, 
who plays Rhinox as well. Wow. Yes. Oh my God. I just love these little pieces. These are the parts from King Kong, from Godzilla that I just love so much. The ultimate fights where there's no humans involved. We see Cheetor transform in the sick flip in Optimus Prime. And what might be the sickest thing I've ever seen in a Transformers trailer? Optimus Primal transforming from his gorilla form. This clash is ultimate. And it's just gonna be my favorite part of the movie and I can't wait for I, this war to- I gotta say, I love that in this trailer that the Maximals still have like fur, even when they're yeah. robots. Yeah, Optimus Primal doesn't have the blue and red that he used to have to kind of indicate mm -hmm. that he's a prime. He looks so badass in this that like, who even cares? And when he transforms, it, I, what I really like is like, he's a gorilla, yes, we get that. But when he transforms, he still has that gorilla-like features where he's like, I'm a Maximal, but he's like running like this. Yes. And I'm like, yes, God, That's how I run, it. ironically. I know. <laughs> so let's get into some more of this trailer. All right. This can't be real. This can't be real. Oh, okay, it's real. And much like us, our human protagonist, Elena, is out of breath, and she's sitting in a fetal position, rocking back and forth, saying, this can't be real. Well, our Autobot RC, voiced again, as we said, by Liza Koshy, gives her a polite wave. A funny moment of levity in an absolutely action-packed trailer, and then we end with the hero shot, baby. Noah and Mirage doing the hero walk towards the camera in slow motion. Let me tell you who's not gonna be in slow motion. Tommy Beck told, when this movie opens, I will be sprinting, rolling out to the theater as soon as this movie opens baby like this you think this is the one part where humans come in that i do enjoy do you think rc is going to belong belong to uh dominic fishback's character elena i think they're going to bond i mean that's kind of what we get in the transformers movies is like a, a bond you know we had the witwicky family bonding with the yeah. primes and and then bumblebee being a caretaker i think those two are, are interconnected because i think that dominic fishback's character seems to be kind of panicked and frightened and i think rc as we said is motherly yeah princess leia like comforting she's a princess to me she's royalty to me she's royalty you guys let me know in the comments let us both know in the comments what you thought on transformers rise of the beast follow me on instagram and twitter at lulu underscore clemens follow tommy at tommy bechtel right Mwah. yes and follow new rock stars subscribe to new rock stars for more breakdowns of everything you love thanks for watching autobots roll out <laughs> i'm stuck <laughs> I like Tommy as, as you know, his knowledge of such Star Wars and then kind of broadening his horizons with doing the breakdowns because Jessica Clemens really killed it with She-Hulk. So I love to see them two really step in front of the camera and do the breakdown sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because it adds another layer of our understanding. But when it comes to Transformers Rise of the Beast, I love this cast, not knowing who was voicing some of the Autobots, some of the Decepticons, and so on and so forth. I'm like, I really got to get my, myself back immersed back into Beast Wars because this is epic. People don't really realize that the the director that I think he did, Creed, is, is really helming in on how this is really about to be a showdown. And he's intertwining a lot of the Transformer movies with Beast Wars with the old movies, like I love it. Like we're really immersed or gonna be immersed in Transformers universe and none other when you're introducing Beast Wars to really get you in because like, <laughs> I'm like Optimo, man, bro. Optimo is really the head honcho beast. The way that he was really just, it's enamoring and even in his trailer, like when he just goes into just from a gorilla into his transformative state, man. Like he just, at the end, he's starting to swing stuff. Like he got different weapons. I'm like, yeah, this is really gonna be dope. Like my favorite was Cheetor, always really fast, doo, doo, doo. like he was really, really good. So I'm like, Cheetor was always a fan favorite. He was one of my favorites. And that's why I say it just really brings me back to my childhood of the nineties and just how this is all gonna intertwine and the start of a new trilogy. So. I'm here for it. So, you guys enjoyed my reaction to Transformers Rise of the Beast trailer breakdown from the new rock stars. Subscribe to my channel. Post comment down below and like the video. And subscribe to the new rock stars as well. It's your boy, D. Dyson. Peace.